Hello, this is Jacqueline with Vibrational Energy Solutions here bringing you Soul Bite number five. Today we're talking about neuroplasticity. Did you know that you can change your brain? You absolutely can. Science is actually showing us that we can create new neural pathways in our brain by changing our thoughts, our words, our behaviors, and our actions to align with what we say we want to create in our lives. So often in the past, we were taught that your brain is your brain. You just accept it. But we also know that by feeding our brains healthy nutrients, it actually supports the growth of these positive attributes of our brain to be able to function better and to enhance our memory, to enhance the ability to think clearly. So today I wanted to share with you a little thought and that was some science that Dr. Bruce Lipton came across in his studies of biology. He was a university professor, a doctor, and what he came to understand was he would take stem, cell, stem cells and put them in different types of medium. So it could be a bone medium and muscle medium and heart medium. And what he found is the stem cells, stem cells actually responded to the type of medium and became whatever the environment was that he placed them in. How does that relate? Well, we are a result of our environment. So if you have a child that's growing up in a home where the environment is poor, generally the input is going to equal the output. If you're putting poor nutrients, lack of nutrients in your body, your body is not going to be healthy. It's not going to sustain strength and stamina for you. So we want to take a look at input equals output. Just like showing up with your priorities and what you say matters, your input will equal your output. It will help create what you say is important for you. So we create childhood, so basically our upbringing, our childhood patterns establish wounded patterns. The environment causes us to become a certain way unless we make a conscious choice to be different. So if you want to look at any patterns that you might have, have grown up with that you are ready to overcome, take a look at your thoughts, words, actions, and behaviors and change them and shift them to what you actually want to create. And then you also get to look at the environment of who are you being with? Because they say that, so experts say, that you become the culmination of the five people that you spend the most time with. So if you want to be a better person, you get to uplift yourself and hang out with people that are striving for more in their life. So whatever you say is going to be a priority and important for you, you want to look for those people that actually have those attributes and be with them, be in the energy of what they are creating and who they are being, because that's going to influence you because it's a part of your environment. It helps you to become more of who you want to be. So the brain will adapt. So we grow where we are planted and we get to use our life experience as our growth medium. So think of planting yourself in a garden and we grow where we are planted. So we also get to take a look at, are we creating healthy compost? Because all of those experiences that you've had that may have been not so fun or may have been detrimental to creating difficult patterns for you to overcome, each one of those actually is a growth opportunity and you are blessed to be able to turn that experience into healthy compost. So turning that into healthy soil for you to plant yourself deeply in that nourishes your soul, that helps you to become more of who you are choosing to be. So who you are 
isn't just a default pattern. It's actually created by changing your state. So what I'd like to invite you into is asking you, what are three ways of being or adjectives that you would like to emanate, that you would like people to look at you and say, when I think of you, I think of you as being this, that, and the other. So for a long time, when I was going through a stage of, of grief because I had a, a huge cycle of loss, um, that, that I had my sister die, my mom die, my dad die, plus friends that passed away, um, you know, experiences of losing home, losing family in other ways. And so you get to ask yourself, what is this guiding me to? Am I going to be a victim of the experience or am I, ch am I going to choose to be the victor of my experience? and choose to change my state. So in that state of grieving, one of the adjectives that I used was joyful, present, connected. Um, I believe those were the three adjectives I was going for in that time frame. Um, now I am a worthy, thriving, and unstoppable leader. So I get to stand unwavering in love acceptance, validation, and approval for myself. I don't need to look outside of me for that. I get to own, I'm a worthy, thriving, unstoppable leader. So who do you want to be? And I invite you to change your state, change your ways of being to reflect that. So for me, I'm showing up as committed. I'm creating everything that I had in the last 20 years of my studies in energy work, in healing modalities, in these the different certifications like the somatic release breathwork um, practitioner like the different leadership courses that i've been involved in i get to ask myself who am i being as i step forward committed to create what i say is important that's a priority for me and to bring my light and my gifts out into the world so who do you want to be? That is the question. To be or not to be? Because we always have that question that's available for us, for you, and for me. So align your emotions to your intentions. What is it that you say that you want to create? What do you say is important for you? What is a, prior, a priority of what you want to strive for in your life? and match your emotions to your intentions so you can change that state and have empowering thoughts. So next, you're going to take inspired action. You're going to ask, what would you have me do next? And feel into your higher self, feel into your soul self, feel into your heart and ask, what would you have me do next? And then show up and be committed and take the loving inspired action and go for it. So this life is a process of self mastery. And I'm here to be with you on that journey to help you unlock the doorway to your divine destiny of who you get to be. And I'm grateful to be on this journey with you. Thank you so much for listening. If you'd like more information on the doorway to your divine destiny, please click the link and access more of you that's available for you in any moment. This is Jacqueline with Vibrational Energy Solutions, hoping you are making it a great day, sending so much love your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being on this planet, for being the state of love that you get to be for yourself in the world and allow that to ripple out, to create an echo into the world that is you standing unwavering in love, self-respect, self-responsibility, shining your light, being present with you because you are a gift in this world. Bye for now. Bye.